Hey guys, what's up, it is Jaxi, and today I'm going to be showing you guys and telling you guys about the new calibrated skulk sensors that have been introduced in 1.20. So let's start off with a normal skulk sensor. Now, it does give off redstone signals on all sides like this, but those redstone signals are set and it detects all movement around um, as long as there's not wall blocking it, like as an insulator, and as long as you're not sneaking. Now this calibrated skulk sensor gives off signal on three sides only, um, unlike the regular skulk sensors are all four, and the purple line is the input of the skulk sensor. So this is the side that it doesn't actually give off a signal, um, and you can input things into here. Now when no redstone signal is attached to the calibrated skulk sensor, it has the exact same properties as a regular skulk sensor, except that the redstone pulse lasts a little bit shorter. As you can see here, this redstone light here turns off a bit sooner. Here's how you craft a calibrated skulk sensor. You need one skulk sensor and three amethyst shards. You just need to place it in here and surround it like so. There you have it. Now the redstone output is inverse to the distance. So the closer you are, the bigger the output and you can see as I walk away here less and less redstone lamps get activated however you can change this if you grab a comparator here and place it in front it is going to be the distance that is released by general by the movement so the vibration level so if I'm jumping here it's always going to release two because that is the vibration level if I'm jumping over here it is still going to release two so with the comparator, it's going to release the output depending on the vibration level and it can detect those vibrations within a 16 by 16 radius, which is something like this. It's a bit of a circle though, so it comes in on the corners. And then that is different to the normal sensor because the normal sensor only has eight by eight. Now, because these are calibrated skulk sensors, we can calibrate them. So if we grab out a redstone torch here, and these other things in this chest. If we place a redstone torch on the input side here, it's only going to pick up um, vibrations of that level, which is going to be 15. So it's not gonna pick up me jumping and walking around here because that is not at the right level. But if we spawn a zombie here and kill it, it's going to fire off the piston because it's at the right level. Now using a redstone torch only allows you to do 15. Um, an easy way to adjust this is by using a lectern with a book with a comparator coming out of it. Because as you turn the pages, it adjusts the redstone output level all the way up to 15. Now on these pages, we have all the different things. So one is moving land, movement on land or air or swimming. And then we have so on. So let's go up to eight, so consume item. So if we're running around here, this skulk sensor here is not going to get activated by whatever we do, not activated. But if we grab out some food here and eat it, consume it, it's gonna be activated. But if we go over down to equipping stuff, so like this chest plate here, it's going to activate when we equip it something, but it's not when we jump around or eat something. Now you don't have to use a lectern here, any sort of redstone signal will calibrate this so you could use a redstone signal coming out of a chest here so we've got three stacks of cherry wood in this chest here and that gives out a signal that'll only detect things when i'm jumping around but if i'm eating it won't detect that so any sort of redstone signal here will calibrate the skulk sensor water logging the sensor like this will stop the noise so the noise that you hear when you're say jumping around here that little sort of weird noise a bit hard to explain but water logging will completely stop that and muffle it because of the calibration that Mojang has added, you can imagine this being used in redstone builds and you can even set up redstone that is wireless using this. I'll show you that in a second, but I'm super excited to see what I can come up with with some of my redstone tutorials. So make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for those. So because the calibrated skulk sensors are calibrated and they're not just normal, they won't spawn a warden, they won't communicate with a warden, they won't communicate with other skulk sensors, but they can communicate with other calibrated skulk sensors. Now you can do this by placing an amethyst block in front of it here, and then of course calibrating it to what you want. So consume an item, get it in here, cook mutton, eating it, and you can see it'll send it down and we'll see that redstone lamp turn on. 
Now this amethyst block dings it and it sort of transfers it on. Now we've muffled the sides here because these ones at the end here aren't calibrated. If something were to, if we didn't have these sides muffled, jump around here, it would set it off. That's why we've got them muffled. But you don't have to have these sides muffled if you have got all of these skulk sensors calibrated. Keep that in mind. So I'm super duper excited to come up with some awesome stuff using this and super duper excited to hear some of your awesome ideas. So make sure to leave them in the comment section down below. So that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment and remember to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all later. And remember, stay carbonated.